Here are 21 free VR games you can play right now for your MetaQuest 3. Now, some of these are demos and can be found on AppLab and SideQuest, and some may not be free by the time this video goes live, but let's get to the games. Let's go. So first up then is Colorway Antics. This is an immersive VR coloring game that offers endless creative possibilities where you step into a world filled with paintable scenes, each waiting for your unique artistic touch. You can explore a variety of settings from hideouts and chaotic bedrooms to treehouses, zombie infested parks, outer space, and mystical caves. The game provides a range of painting tools to unlock your artistic genius and you can use a versatile paintbrushes for intricate details, apply vibrant colours with a fill tool and have fun splattering creativity with paintballs. There's even a sticker tool to add graffiti inspired graphics to your creation and it's a dynamic playful way to express your creativity in virtual reality. Next up then is Wicked Balloons. Now, in Wicked Balloons, lovable balloons transform into wicked adversaries who kidnap cats that they consider the cutest beings. Equipped with specialized poppers, embark on a perilous journey to save the feline hostages and foil the balloon's nefarious scheme. Basically, this is a VR wave slasher with a focus is around slashing enemy balloons. So next up then is VR Coloring. Now VR Coloring is a VR casual game where players choose their favorite sketch and use the touch controls to point and click in order to paint the section of their selected drawings. That's all I can really say about this one, so on to the next one. Next up is Zap. Now Zap is a co-op puzzle shooter that combines classic arcade vibes with modern action pack gameplay. Whether you choose to play alone or team up with a friend, Zap offers 32 levels set across 20 unique stages and these levels will challenge your reflexes, aim and accuracy, and situational awareness. The game provides a straightforward yet challenging experience with levels are carefully designed to deliver an exhilarating gameplay experience every time you play. Zap is committed to ongoing updates, introducing new content, stages, game modes and events to keep players engaged and excited. Next up then is Velocity Rush. Now Velocity Rush is a free VR game designed for easy and immersive play. All you have to do is jump as you navigate the fast paced scenarios, weave through obstacles and make quick decisions. The game ensures a comfortable VR experience while it's accessible to all skill levels. It offers challenges for both casual players and experts. Each stage is thoroughly crafted, introducing new challenges and new virtual worlds. Next up then is Not My Blood. Not My Blood is an action horror shooter where you're facing waves of invading in monsters after your family is killed. You team up with your drone bodyguard to defend yourself and you can find weapons on the map or upgrade your abilities and equipment to improve your chances of survival. The gameplay continues indefinitely, challenging you to see how many waves you can endure and the game features aggressively heavy metal music that adds to the intense atmosphere. It's currently a work in progress and is free for early adopters and the future plans include more weapons, drone bodyguard assistance, new enemies, skill upgrades, hidden discoveries on the map and secret ways to end the game. Next up then is Nightfall Warriors. Now Nightfall Warriors is a co-op and solo virtual reality game that's focused on fighting supernatural monsters. In a co-op mode, you team up with your friends or players from around the world to combat evil creatures. You and your companion have access to various weapons, tools and abilities as you embark on your monster hunting journey. The game offers both co-op and solo experiences, allowing players to choose their preferred mode and enjoy hunting down supernatural monsters with the help of their companion. So next then is Virtual Boy Go. Now this is a Virtual Boy emulator for the Quest 2 that can be used to play Virtual Boy games in virtual reality on the Quest 2. Now this isn't a new game or app, but it is very new to SideQuest, so it can be easily installed using a SideQuest app, perfect if you are looking for something retro. Next up then is Tales of Sinara. Now in Tales of Sinara, you step into the shoes of a wizard, embarking on a journey to fulfill your destiny. As the champions of ancient realm Sinara, which was once preserved by powerful wizards using the elements forces of fire, water and air, you find yourself facing a significant challenge. The game offers a fresh and unique approach to playing a mage character where you'll be able to fly to explore your surroundings and cast spells from each hand, adding an element of strategy to your magic battles. So next up then is Tank Turret VR. Now Tank Turret VR is a World War II Panther Tank Simulator. Set in the ruins of Berlin, you are sitting in the turret of a tank and must shoot large rounds at your enemies while quickly reloading to ensure you destroy your way to victory. Next up then is Slither. Now Slither VR is a snake inspired VR game where players step into the world of serpentine action. As a stealthy snake your objective is to navigate and engage in the environment and overcome challenges and grow to become the largest snake in the game. This game promises an immersive experience facing you at the heart of the action as you maneuver your snake through vibrant landscapes. Your survival skills are put to the test as you encounter various obstacles and competitors in your quest to become the biggest snake. Next up then is STEM Trek Operation Vigil. Now this is a virtual reality adventure where you play as a scientist on a journey for an 
Antarctica. Your mission is to help Dr. Stephen Daniels, who is a scientist who's in trouble. He's been acting strange and sending unusual messages, and you must explore the camp to uncover the reasons behind his behavior. And along the way, you'll interact with the island's inhabitants, create medical tools to address climate change, and engage in scientific experiments to discover more about the GAD. So next up then is Quantic Arcade. This is a VR experience that offers a collection of sports games. You can immerse yourself in basketball, darts, duck hunting, and archery adventures. In a basketball game, you'll use physics-based shooting to make precise shots, and you can have an authentic dart challenge experience where you master throwing physics for accurate aiming. With Duck Hunt, the game provides a nostalgic experience where you test your shooting skills against fast-moving targets in captivating virtual environments. Each game brings its own unique challenges and immersion. So next up then is the Superhero Supply Service. Now this is a VR game where you assist a superhero named Captain Noseworthy. Using the Superhero Supply Service supercomputer, he contacts you with missions and you must race to him in the Superhero Supply Service mobile. That's a bit of a mouthful. You must decipher clues and figure out what special items you need located in the back of the vehicle and deliver it to him before the time runs out. So next up we have the next move demo. In this game you embark on a journey through dreamlike worlds filled with fantastical architecture where you'll face various challenges including climbing rotating towers, pursuing gondolas across misty lakes and leaping over crumbling stone pillars. To progress and solve the mysteries of the surreal world you'll need to combat foes, tackle intricate puzzles and manipulate in time, immersing yourself in an otherworldly adventure that transcends space and time. Next up then is Never Down. Now Never Down is an addictive game where your objective is to ascend by jumping and pushing off the floor. Your agility and speed are key as you strive to reach the top with a range of levels and different difficulties. Now as you play you'll be challenged to demonstrate your climbing abilities, leaping and pushing to reach higher points and the game provides an exhilarating rush as you navigate walls and platforms. As you can probably tell this game is very very comparable in name and objective to the game only up. So next up then is Mixed Reality Pac-Man. Now this is a super interesting version of Pac-Man where you use the real world as a stage to move in Mixed Reality to avoid the ghost and become the Pac-Man. It's a completely different take on a classic game that admittedly not many people are going to be able to find a big enough space to use, but it's still a great idea that I actually like the look of. Next up then is Move Fast. Now this is a short experience that lets you get a fun workout while trying to punch, chop and block using your real hands using the Oculus Quest 2's hand tracking feature. So so this is a demonstration for Unity developers showcasing the capabilities of the Interaction SDK for fast action fitness types of apps. So it's not for everybody, but it is free and does deserve to be on this list. Next up then is Moon Soldier. Now Moon Soldier puts you in the shoes of, well, you guess it, a soldier who is on the moon. And you must resist as long as possible as asteroids from an alien mothership come to get you. Likewise, your moon base must not be destroyed by asteroids. Basically, it's a VR wave punching game, death on the moon. Next up then is Meta Hazard. Now this is an action-packed virtual reality game available on SideQuest. In this game, players engage in intense 1v1 first-person shootouts set in a mixed reality environment. The gameplay involves strategic weapon usage, attacking opponents' monsters, mastering dodging and shielding techniques, all aimed at emerging as the victor. One of the game's notable features is the flexibility in weapon and shield combination, where players can strategically mix and match various weapons and shields, adapting to their choice dynamically during battles to gain the upper hand. Next up then is Mansion Mystery. This is a new VR escape room game where you are trapped in a mysterious mansion with no apparent way out. You have to use your puzzle solving skills to collect items and interact with the environment. You can solve intricate puzzles in order to escape. The game is really challenging and engaging and the puzzles are carefully crafted to keep you on the edge and you'll need to use your observational skills and creativity to think outside the box and find the necessary tools to solve the puzzles. And be sure to check out on screen for more MetaQuest games and MetaQuest free content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Peace.